Hey there. In this video, we're going to talk about emphasis. Now, emphasis is a key concept to understand in reading and writing, uh, but it's not one that's always clear. And so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to walk you through one statement. And I'm going to read this statement seven times, one time for each word in the sentence. And what I'm going to do with each sentence is provide a different emphasis. And we're going to see what that looks like or what that experience is. So the sentence is, I didn't say you stole the money. Now let's hear that with emphasis on each word. I didn't say you stole the money. 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 Okay, so the first question there is, how did emphasis change each sentence? Now, if you're listening, you'll notice that it did seem to imply different things. Each time the emphasis was used, there was an indication, there was something underneath that tells us there's something else going on, right? And so this is something to be thinking about. We hear this all the time, right? We hear this, and it's something we have to be looking for and thinking about when we're reading. Right? So what does it mean when we read? When we read, we may not always have the cues. Now, if you're looking at the video, each word as I read it this time, you know, as I went through the seven sentences, each the word that I was emphasizing was italicized. You won't always get that when you're reading. So you have to look around. You have to think about whenever somebody is speaking, whenever somebody is actually, you're reading just the written words, you have to think about and you want to think about where is the emphasis now one thing to think about is in the things we just in the sentence we just read i focused only on emphasizing words but could i have emphasized syllables and then what might have been the different meaning that that suggested so what i want you to think about is how every word has a connotation and a denotation now, the denotation is what exactly that it means, right? You know, when you look at it up in the dictionary, how is it defined? But the connotation is the cultural meaning around that. So when I said, I didn't say you stole the money, right? The emphasis on money in that sentence all of a sudden makes us think, oh, is there something else? Does, is money a stand-in for, for it, right? What's the connotation of money in this sentence? Right? That's what emphasis does. It tells us there's something else going on. There's some reason for putting the emphasis on this word, on this aspect of the sentence. So you want to be thinking about that. You want to be thinking about that um, when you are reading and figure out how in the ways it will change your reading experience. If you're reading a sentence and you don't understand it, you're confused by it or you're challenged by it, a good way to start to kind of make sense of it, start to deconstruct it, is to play around with the emphasis. Ask yourself, where is the emphasis in this sentence? If I were reading this aloud, where would I want to hesitate? Where would I want to put a little more force into my, my speaking of it? And then you might also want to think about how you do this in your writing. Now, yes, you can visually, within writing, add a, italics. And that sometimes works, but that sometimes it doesn't, or it feels like, uh, for some, it can be seen as a shorthand, rather than trying to find the right way of constructing a sentence so that the emphasis feels present in a certain way, um, people will use italics. So I would encourage you both in your reading and your writing, how can you communicate emphasis and how does emphasis change the experience? 
And if it changes the experience, how, what, what changes? How does that give us something different than what's actually just straightforwardly said? Right. So hopefully this gives you a couple different things to think about, ways to um, play around with what you're reading, play around with what you're writing. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Uh, feel free to to share them with me. Thank you.